Hi everyone, Melanie here. So I have a few days off from work. So today I want to go thrifting and antiquing. So I'm going to head over to my favorite country mall of all, and that's the Crossroads Country Mall. If you're not familiar with that place, you've never been there, never heard of it. It is located in the historic town of Lima, New York, a very beautiful little town. And I also do a thrifting series at this location. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll be sure to link that playlist below in my description box. So you guys, I have a long wish list. How many of you have a thrifting, antiquing wish list of all of the treasures that you would like to find? I know I do. So hopefully today I will find a few of those items cross them off my list and I'm looking for a few things specifically and I'm pretty sure a couple of these items I know I'm definitely going to be able to find there because the Crossroads Country Mall is my go-to for a couple of these items and I'll share that with you at the end of this video but I'm hoping that I will also find some more goodies. Then also at the end of this video, I'll share my haul with you. So I'm gonna quit rambling here. I'm gonna get my shoes on and I'm gonna head on over there. So I'll see you soon.
That was so much fun. How many of you would see me show something and think, oh, I bet you Melanie's gonna buy that? Well, you're about to see if you are right on any of the items that I showed you. And I also want to add that at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I plan to incorporate a few of these items in my mudroom. There's in two areas that after I decorated it, I just kept looking at it and thinking, oh my gosh, I don't like that. I'm not happy with it. Are any of you like that? It's like you just keep fiddling and keep changing things up. So I am thinking that I'm definitely gonna like my new idea better. So I'll show you that at the end of this video too. But this is what I got first. I love these. And the Crossroads Country Mall is my go-to when I need burlap bags, you guys. And I get them for a really good deal. I think she charges me like $3.50 per bag. And I'll show you one of these. Look at this one. So it says Jeffries. And if you're familiar with my channel, you follow me a, l a lot, then, or maybe just catch the occasional video, then you've probably seen me use these bags and I just love them. And did you know that you can actually wash burlap? Yes, you can. You can either wash them out by hand or you can also um, wash them in your washing machine. But of course, you know, if there's frays, you're gonna get that all through your washing machine. So I always like to wash mine out by hand and then I just hang them over my clothesline, let them dry. And here's one of the other ones. I really like this one. I don't have one like this yet. So it does have a hole in the bottom of the bag, but I don't care. I love that you guys. It gives it more rustic charm, right? Love it. And the other, uh, I bought five of them. So or I bought four of them. So the other two are like the first one that I showed you. And I also got fabrics. So I bought this one, this pattern, and she told me that she gave me a discount because um, they recently started um, discounting some of their fabrics. So I'm not sure exactly how much these cost me. This one is just plain blue. Yeah, you can see the color of that one. And then here's another blue and also another blue and I got this one and normally she charges like three dollars a yard and a lot of times if there's more than a yard um she'll even give a better deal so and then there's also this one I mean going there to get fabric I mean that's the way to go because she has so many and they're a really good deal. I got this dough bowl and it was $9.95. It is cracked, but you guys, I don't care. It just gives it much more charm. It's a really nice size. It'll definitely be going on my primitive cupboard with all of my other dough bowls, but I really love the patina on this bowl. Nice dark color and I also got so this you probably didn't see in my video because she had it setting on the counter and whenever I was walking past I of course noticed it out of the corner of my eye and I said to her I said okay you set me up. You just put that there because you knew I was gonna buy it because I mean, it's it's a joke between us. I, it's almost like she knows, well, she does know. She knows exactly the owner. That's whenever I say she, I'm referring to the owner of the Crossroads Country Mall. Her name is Linda. She is wonderful. I love her so much, but I always joke with her that she sets me up because so many times there's something wonderful that I'm going to love sitting right on her 
counter where you check out. So, of course, it wasn't this piece that I'm going to show you. It was not there when I first walked in and was standing there talking to her. It wasn't there. But she just so happened to be cleaning out an area because we're getting a new vendor at the crossroads. So, she pulled this out. And of course, I loved it and I bought it, but check this out. Oh, this is a beautiful pantry box. And you guys look how large this is. Oh my goodness, I love this. The lid unfortunately was missing. Gosh, I wish so bad that she would have had the lid. I even asked her, I'm like, Linda, do you have the lid? And she's like, no, I wish. I'm, yeah, I do too. But oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. And here, let me see, I'll show you. Look at this. Give you a really good look at that. Oh. So you know what I'm gonna do? Well, first I better tell you what I paid for this baby, right? And I think it was a really good deal. Look at that, 30. Whoops, <laughs> yeah, that's the right side. $39, you guys. Oh, so you know what I'm gonna do whenever I'm decorating with it? I am just going to flip it just like this and then I will stack, you know, whatever else on top of it. Of course, I'm not gonna put anything too heavy because I don't wanna damage that. But you know what? It'll look really nice to set like two of my other pantry boxes right up here, right? I mean, oh my gosh, I'm like looking right now at a couple of my pantry boxes and it's like my wheels are turning. I'm getting some ideas here. So, and I'll show you. Oh, does that have, oh, I thought maybe it had like a marking. I love it when old wood has markings on it. So check this out. You ready? I love this. Look, I can't believe that I found another one, you guys. Oh my goodness. How many of you remember, did you see my last thrifting video? I found one there too. And whenever I was going around, you know, doing my video and everything, Linda told me, she said, oh, Betty said that there's something in one of those vendors booths that she thinks that you are really gonna like. And I'm telling you, my friends know me so well, right? But what do you think, you guys? Oh, it is in great condition. And I can't believe it. It's like, look, this is all intact. It is in, it's not damaged at all. And do you wanna know what I paid for it? I'll show you. Look, I paid, gosh, I need my glasses. $65, definitely fair price. Gosh, I tell you, I can't believe I now have two of these. And I think that this one is almost the same size as the last one that I shared. It might be just a little wee bit smaller. And I got another whiskey jug. I tell you, there was like, what, four or five of them. And talk about a hard decision, right? I would love to have bought all of them, but you know, I have to control myself sometimes. So this one does not have the cork, unfortunately. I really wish it did, but you know what, it's okay. And I paid $20 for it, but that vendor is also having a sale right now. So I got this for 20% off. So, I mean, that is, that's a really good deal, you guys. And it is in really good condition. Um, the only damage that I saw was just that little chip right there. Do you see? Yeah, right there. That's the only, I didn't see any cracks, nothing. So, love this and I love the dark. That's actually why I chose this one because the other ones, they were also two-tone, but a couple of them were a little bit lighter. So I was gravitating towards the darker one. So that's the whole part of this video. Now I'm gonna head out to my mudroom. I'm gonna play around a little bit with a few of these items that I just bought. Then I'll be back to show you the changes that I made. So be right back. In my mudroom slash laundry room, I previously had a few baby blankets that were mine and my husband's tucked inside this crate, 
but I just felt like it needed something different. So I didn't have enough extra blankets that I could place in here and I wanted a cheap alternative. So that's why I bought the fabrics. And by buying them at a thrift shop, I was definitely able to save money. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative to having something look like a blanket or sheets, you can try and find some cheaper discounted fabric. It looks great. I also wanted to change up this area. Here's the junk that I just bought. I thought it would look nice just to place that underneath my wreath and lantern. But here is where I placed all of those wonderful burlap bags. I wanted what I placed in this basket to just really add in to the primitive decor that I had throughout this room. And I just felt like the pieces that I originally had inside this basket, I felt like it was too much. So I feel like this looks great. And it also, ties in really nice with what I have on my ladder. All right, that's all I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.